some people think that okay or oh, they just get a visa they can get married quick before they move to united states of america don't do that don't do that because once you get married usa mon hello my beautiful people welcome back if it's your first time here welcome in this video i'm going to talk about something very important or uh, something that you uh, the petitioners who are petitioning for your uh, children or planning to petition for your children and you are a green card holder okay if your children are uh, unmarried and they are less than 21 years old or unmarried more than 21 years old this video is for you and also if you are a child or uh, and your parent of petition for you your parent are a green card holder you are not 21 yet or you are more than 21 but you know marry yet you need to pay attention to this video so guys uh, this is something that a lot of people don't know and that can uh, cause problem so if you are a green card holder okay you petition for your child or your children or uh, they are in f to a category meaning that they are under age of 21 or uh, they are in F2B category, meaning that they are more than 21, 21 years old, but uh, are unmarried. Well, you need to let them know that uh, they cannot get married until they become a green card holder, meaning that until they receive an immigrant visa and come to the United States of America and become a green card holder. Okay? They cannot get married. If they get married, right after uh, the visa that can cause problem later on because uh, some people think that okay uh, they just get a visa they can get married quick before they move to united states of america don't do that don't do that because once you get married okay first of all if you get married before you go to your uh, your interview you won't even have a chance to go to the interview because you won't be able to be eligible to get a visa because you are married okay and then in order for you to, you know, uh, for your parents to petition for you to come to the United States of America, you have to wait until they become a U.S. citizen. Then they can apply for you and you will move to F3 category, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. But guys, uh, like I say, if you're in F2A you, or you are in F2B category and your parents are in, uh, green card holders, don't get married okay when i say don't get married you know that's your decision you can get married when you want to get married but the thing is if you want to move to the united states of america on immigrant visa you want to benefit from your parents and status as a green card holder you cannot get married until you move to the united states of america and get your green card i know some of you guys have a boyfriend or girlfriend who are pushing you to get married before you move because maybe they're afraid they're gonna lose you uh, but you have to pay attention you have to pay attention but i'm not saying that because of a visa you don't have to get married if you fall in love you think you want to get married you can get married but the only thing you have to know is that you won't be able to get a uh, visa to come to the united states of america even if you have a chance after the visa you get married and then you come to the united states of america you will think that on uh, the uh i mean uh immigration won't know that uh, you get married but the thing is if you're going to become a, a u.s citizen you apply for your naturalization they will find out if they find out guess what they can take your green card away from you so you have to be careful because like i said a lot of you guys don't know you don't know because you know maybe you apply for your kids or your child or even five years or you know they are 21 years old or maybe or 22 23 they're like hey mom dad uh, I can't wait any longer. I'm going to get married. You need to let them know that okay, once they get married, they cannot come to the United States of America on an immigrant visa. They cannot benefit from your status anymore. They just have to wait until you become a U.S. citizen before you can petition for them again. It doesn't mean that uh, you, you petition for them before, then uh, they're going to hold that that position for them until uh, you apply for them again. No, it's gonna, they're going to start over. Basically, you're going to file another I want to petition for your uh, Mary, I mean, then Mary, or uh, son or daughter to come to the United States of America. So, guys, that's what I want to share with you. If you like the video, click on the like button, share the video, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you in another video. USA Monday.